Hello, welcome back. We're at the United Tool. A uh, good buddy of mine's got a machine shop here. Um, he's got a new machine in. Thought we'd check it out. See what he's got going on there. So our, our goal, not with every tool, but with some tools, for them to walk through this door, yeah. hand me a drawing, it could even be a sketch on a piece of paper. Right. We can sit right here when they're looking at us and turn that into a tool. And, and while they have a cup of coffee, I can just go out there and make that tool. That's awesome. So this, this tool, where I'll start. this is probably a little more exotic, you know, maybe this would be a tool that falls under this, this carbide. It's, it's a good stuff. So what, what they buy off the shelf is not that it's carbide. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to give them something better than that. Mm -hmm. First of all, because it's made on better. Yeah. Second of all, hopefully because we do a better job manufacturing things, sure. we go slower than most uh, shops. Our, on our Finnish show D, we use a 400 grit diamond. Okay. We turn it about 8,000 RPM, 6,000 surface feet, <laughs> and, and we only we only move it like four inches a minute along that cutting edge. It's just a flat. So okay, so now uh, this thing goes back and forth. Yep. So this is an X, Y, Y, A, B, what, what is this that's one? That's X. X, okay, and that's Y? Yep, so here's Y. Okay. Here's Z. Uh -oh. So if you wanted to sharpen this tool, that's what this thing does. So you stick that guy in there. We're going to cut, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna not actually grind it, but we're going to show you what it does. Sure. And how it does it. All right. So this, this is old school. So what it's going to do is it's got this digital probe right here. It's going to come down here and it's going to tell me to find that. It's going to tell me to find the end of that tool. And, and right there it stops. i got to manually dial this up. I'm just going to slam it right into that probe. It knows. Let's go. I told it the diameter of the tool. Now what it's going to do is it's going to measure the spiral. So I'm going to drop one of them, whatever teeth I want, okay. drop one tooth down below that probe, and it's going to find that tooth, right. and then I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to probe, I'm going to probe that tooth, same tooth, right there. I'm gonna watch you do your do your thing. Okay. I was gonna teach you where the hold is at first. Okay. Does it know where the tool's at already? It's going to taste the tool out. Okay. Well, okay. That's pretty cool. I'll go back in there and I push the grind. Kind of leave all the guesswork out of that part. Yeah, no, that, now that now will teach you. There, and that's what they came out with, yeah. It, it doesn't do, I mean, it's not like one of your personal iPad. Just, yeah, it's, 
But he was able to place stuff where he wanted it. And yeah. Nice touch screen. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So this one of, one of the high tech things about this machine is the uh, traditional way to drive an axis around is with ball screws and servo motors. Sure. This machine on your X and Y axis does not use ball screws and servo motors. It has linear motors. Oh, wow. And they can design their own linear motors. They're circular. So it's a, it's a round tube. It's electromagnetic. It's got a rod that goes through the center of it. There's about an eighth of an inch gap around that. And that, that's what drives this ax, the X and Y axis around. So there's no, really? there's no friction. There's no moving parts. There's no really. moving parts. And it is fast and accurate. It's more accurate than we can measure. Huh. So they've eliminated positioning with screws. Right. So you and, don't have and, like backlash or anything? They got backlash and uh, so, sometimes they'll have a glass scale that they use in conjunction with the revolutions. And, uh, they, sometimes they compete against each other, sure, you know. But sure. anyway, that, that, all that technology Like harmonics gone. and stuff? Yeah, there's remember. all that bad stuff. So all that. This has none of that. So. They say that they say the surface finishes generated with this machine because of that technology are improved by 25%. Wow. Which we see that in that concave radius tool that where the finishes in there were, were just like mirrors. 